So we are into August, partway through August, and we decided to do a garden tour this morning and show you all the things that we have growing and everything that's so huge. So first off, our squash have about taken over this space, which is pretty awesome. The kids have let out a few of the chicks, and so there's a little chicky right there. Here is our strawberry row with this autumn fire up here. Uh, sedum and it's it's gonna be blooming pretty soon not quite yet but pretty soon it has a really pretty pink flower and then the lavender or the lavender the violets have come back full force I should probably start harvesting some more for tea and stuff I have one echinacea over here and it's looking pretty good it's kind of small so I think I will move it at the end of this season so that's that row here's our squash um, our winter squash. There's a lot of blossoms. There's some squash in there that are looking pretty good. Um, oh, look at this one. I actually haven't really noticed. That is a large pumpkin. Um, our raspberries are have gotten eaten a bit by grasshoppers, but not too bad. We still have some sunflowers. Um, I had thrown in cilantro back here. So that's what a lot of that is. And then we have plantain back here with the or strawberries and then a calendula that I've been harvesting. Wow. It's been a couple days since I've been out here and look at our cucumbers. Obviously they're huge compared to last video in July. And then <clears throat> back there is a squash as well. Um, and then we have a, a watermelon back there. So the watermelon, we have another watermelon that's growing pretty good. Um, like an actual fruit. This plant looks nice and healthy, but I'm, I'm not seeing any fruit yet. So we'll just see how that pans out. But there, I just walked past a cucumber. We've been eating cucumbers every day. Look at that nice cucumber. Let's get that harvested. Hello. A pretty good sized cucumber that's like one you'd buy at the store okay so this is like from the back of the garden there's an aura over there you can tell our squash have really taken over the they're literally going all the way to the rhubarb which is amazing so we still have kale back here there's a, like a little calendula plant in there the raspberries we haven't really harvested any because there's not really been much to harvest at all but they're looking pretty good and establishing well here's some chicks over here um, the lavender that I started from cuttings is looking really, this is one from cuttings. This is one that was winter sown. So we're planning to get all of these put into the garden. That's a different variety, but all of these to get put in the garden this fall. But I mean, look at this squash. It came out from all the way over there. So pretty exciting stuff. My plan this morning was to come out and pick green beans from our bush beans and then I'll probably check the cucumbers because there was that huge one back there. So we'll pick those, whatever needs to get picked, we'll pick. So this is our next row over. We have some kale up here. This is supposed to be the potato row. So the back portion was potatoes and then the front portion ended up being like cilantro and lettuce seed. Uh, I haven't harvested any potatoes, but I probably could. They didn't do as well as I had hoped, but I guess we'll just see because it's all under the soil. And then over there is our green bean row. And we didn't actually end up covering our green beans. As you can see, there's like some damage from the grasshoppers, but they got enough of a head start and we have way less grasshoppers in the garden this year. So they're doing really good. So I haven't harvested any of my marshmallow yet, but this is my marshmallow. It is in fact taller than me. And then here's the dill, it went to seed. Um, but it sure is beautiful to enjoy. So the marshmallow is over there on that side. And then we have calendula and sage back here. And then this is our onion row. Some of them, most of them are done growing but some of them still have some growth left, I guess. Um, but these are some nice size onions. We're gonna harvest a lot of these ones that are bent over pretty soon, but we're pretty excited about that. 
and then there's some celery there. I didn't walk down that path because there's not much of a path because all that hybrid lettuce went to seed and it's huge. Um, on this row behind, I here's a cabbage, it's split. I'm gonna need to take care of it and deal with it, but we already harvested majority of our cabbages. Um, there's still a few here and there left. Um, but yeah, we've been enjoying tons and tons of coleslaw and I made some batches of sauerkraut. Oh, there's a chicky. I made a couple batches of sauerkraut and I'm gonna make a bunch more batches. But the onions look really good. The green beans over there. These are all volunteer ground cherries. Hi. Nora has her kitty. Where's your kitty? On what? On this purple? Really? Did it fly away? Are you getting tired? No. Hi. Hi. Kitty face. Kitty face. Um, yeah, we just have a bunch of volunteer ground cherry, which we haven't eaten any yet because none of them have gotten ripe enough. So here's where we had lots of sunflowers before. There's still a couple plants here and there. Um, but we got our kale and our chard and lots of dill. This is all volunteer dill. And then here's our beet row. So there's beets here and then beets all the way back there. A couple of these, like these are carrots that have gone to seed. Um, and these carrots are just from this row that we winter sowed. So I'm not really sure how that happened, but we might be saving carrot seed. And so here is my rose bush that I have. And then my mother-in-law actually got me another rose for my birthday a couple weeks ago. We have, I can't remember what she said. I'll, I'll include it in just the other part. Well, here's our echinacea. I've been harvesting every time they're about this size. I've been harvesting. And then these ones are first season ones. And so they're, I don't think they're going to bloom. Here's a dahlia we picked up from a friend. Um, maybe we'll get a bloom this year. If not, I'm going to plan to dig up the tuber. Hi, Elf. Hi. Whose kitty is that? Diaz. What's her name? Charlotte. <laughs> she's watching the moths. Oh, maybe she's watching that chicky. That one's Tyus's chick. Is that he is that the grouse? That one's grouse. He named that one grouse. But look at this squash in here. Where did it go? The big giant one. Here it is. It looks like a zucchini, but I think it's like a a pie something or other. It's supposed to be like pumpkin kind of. And then our peppers, these peppers are still covered for now. We might end up removing it because the grass, I mean, you can see grasshoppers here and there, but it's not too bad. And then these peppers we decided to take out, off, we didn't take them out. Decided to take off the top and they look pretty happy. These are all our sweet peppers. Um, some of them were kind of leaning over, but besides that, they look really good. I did harvest my lavender the other day and I just trimmed it back and I'll just basically do a rough chop on it and dry it for tea. Um, I'll go back this way. So back this way, we do have a watermelon plant. <laughs> There's an itty bitty watermelon. Uh, here's some of the holy basil, the Tulsi, and I've harvested some. I think I'm gonna come back and harvest more, but they're not huge plants, so I'm kind of trying to let them get a boost and then I'll come get more. Here we have our zucchini and crookneck. And I think there might be pumpkins at the very back and then back there where it's kind of turning brown, there's a lot of dill. So I actually haven't harvested zucchini for a little bit, but my mother-in-law has been pretty good about coming back and getting all the squash. Yeah, what kind of tomato do you want to get? I don't see any, but there's a lot of bloom, so that's good. What do you have? Some tomatoes. Yum. I think those are all stu stupiche. There's more tomatoes there. Right here is the raspberry liana. Those have been really good. Some of them are like so heavy that they're just falling. Mm -hmm. But at this point, we're just letting them see what happens, basically. Most of these are stupiche. And then there's some, I think another type. Um, and so we've been harvesting those here and there. 
Here's one that looks about ready. Oh, can I put this one? Yeah, that one looks good. Remember what kind that is? No. That one is the... That it has a pokey thing. The orange. No, the pokey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are the orange ones that we really like. The orange cherries that we yeah, like. I love them. So all of these ones are the raspberry liana. For whatever reason, the front ones have been getting ripe faster. The ones closer to the front of the garden. But like, look, it's so pretty. Look. That's cute. Here's my goat. She's just snoring away over there. And then this this lady over here. Doing pretty good. There's some tomatoes that are hiding. They don't want to get picked. There's some tomatoes that are hiding. Well, we should pick them, huh? They look pretty good. They've grown all the way up past the um, the cattle panel, and then my mother-in-law came through and did this twine. So back here is where all of our paste paste tomatoes are, um, and we haven't harvested any of those yet. But I'm assuming they're all going to come on. But she's okay. At the same time, oh, I need to harvest that zucchini. It looks like it had funny pollination because the top is really huge and then the bottom is really small. So here's another raspberry liana. It's not super duper ripe yet, so I'm just gonna leave it. And then over here is some of our winter squash. I think this is a blue hubbard. There's one there and one right there. Or baby blue hubbard or something. And then here's another one. And then back here we have another type. I think these might be the, these ones with the curling leaves. We're not really sure why that happened, but I think these are the Valencia ones. But back here we have another type of pumpkin. And it's so pretty, look at that texture. And then our prize and pride and joy. Not sure when to pick it, but we have a watermelon. We actually have more than one. We have this one. And then we have that one. And that one. And then there's this itty bitty one. But like this one, it's pretty large. That's like the good. Mm -hmm. And then this one's a fake. If the stem starts getting brown, that means they're ready. If the stem starts getting brown, that's how we know they're ready? Yeah. Good to know. But look, those are some nice looking watermelon, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, and Nora has some her tomato stash. So back here is some pumpkins. Oh, there's another one right there. And then there's more pumpkins and spaghetti squash on that side. So there's the garden. Oh, look at those pretty sunflowers up there. Did you get it? You gonna take it to the chickies? Yeah. Nice. So I caught a bunch of grasshoppers while I was picking green beans. And then now I'm gonna pick calendula. Hey, Miss Who caught a bug? Heidi. Where? So what I do is I just use my fingernail and I just pop it off. And then I do, I will like take these ones off too cause they're gonna go to seed and I wanna harvest. I'm not waiting for seed to, to develop, I want to just harvest the flowers. Oh, that's funny. No, no, she didn't get a fresh one. She was growling though, wasn't she? Oh, nice. So your fingers will start to get really sticky from the resin um, of the calendula.
they're just right there.